Hi, it's Dita Irvin, and I'm here on my demo site, Dita Help Me. And today I'm going to show you how to add a banner ad into the widget area here in the sidebar. So whenever I add banners to my site, I always first copy the banner to my computer from the affiliate uh, page. And then I upload the banner into a draft post on my blog, and I call that blog draft post the banners and I keep this draft post for all my future banner ads and I recommend that you do too. Once I upload it on uh, this post then I'll adjust the banner on this post and when the banner is completed I copy it wherever I want to add it to. So let me show you the steps you need to take. So I'm here in the affiliate area uh, where I want to select the banner ad that I want to place in the widget and the the one that I want to place there is this one here so I'll right click on it and I'll click on save image as and that will save it into my computer so now I will go into my dashboard and I will find the banner post and I'm going to add the banner there uh, so I can adjust it. So uh, in my post I'm going to uh, place a title of this banner ad and this title is just for me so that I know what kind of banner ads I have there so I will just call it a widget uh, banner and then click on add media and I will upload files from my computer. So I'll upload this image from my computer. So I'll click on Select Files and I'll click on this one. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention to you that when you're saving a banner that is um, flashing, then you have to save it in GIF uh, file. So anyway, uh, I'll click on this and I'll open it or your computer may say save it and I will just uh, it will upload to my media files and for the moment I'm not going to write anything here I just make sure that uh, the image is aligned to the center and then insert it into the post So once the banner is in your post, uh, then you have to link it to your affiliate link. So all you have to do is click on the banner and then click here the edit link or insert link icon and enter the URL where you want the um, banner lead people to also make sure that the banner opens up in a new window so if people want to come back to your site they still can so add this uh, tick uh, here and then click add link and now your banner is hyperlinked and what I would do next is I would save it so now your image is almost ready to be copied to the widgets. Before we copy it though, we want to make sure that uh, we'll specify to search engines that they should not follow the link that is associated with this banner. So you don't want search engines to follow affiliate links because it's not necessary you're just going to lose some of your link juice and if you have too many banners then also the search engines may deem your site spammy so we're going to go into the text editor and in the text editor we're going to add a no follow tag behind uh, this tag here to tell the search engines that they shouldn't follow this uh, particular link. So we'll just add a space. So now I'm going to add the no follow tag in here in this space. So I copied it into my notepad. So here's the no follow tag and basically it, it's just a short tag 
which uh, says rel equals quotation mark no follow and quotation mark. So just I'll just copy this little tag in here. And I'll paste the tag here uh, behind into the space af or after the space. So paste it there and I'll save the draft again and that's it. So now your um, image is a nofollow image or your link is a nofollow. So now what we want to do is we want to add it to a widget. So what we'll do is we'll click on appearance and then we'll click on widgets. And in the widgets, I'm going to find a text widget. And I will just drag this text widget up to the main sidebar. And I'm going to drop the text widgets with, sorry, the text widget right under the search. So I clicked on this little thing to open it. So I, I opened up the widget. And now we have to go back to the post and copy the widget, uh, pardon me, copy the banner ad that we created and you copy it in the text editor, okay? So copy it, we'll go back to the widgets and just drop the code into the widget and then scroll down and save the widget. So let's see how it looks on the side. And if we scroll down, now here is the widget. And if I click on the link, I should go to the page. And here we are. So as you could see, it was pretty easy to do. Now, uh, if you want to read about it, you can go to my blog post where I will have the full description of all the steps that I had to take to do this. And I'll give you a link below this video to get to my post. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next video.